Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now technically, summer is coming to an end, so I thought I'd do a roundup of my most worn summer staples. And who knows, maybe we might end up having an extended summer, so this could be a source of outfit inspiration for anyone that wants it. First up is oversized shirts, and I wear these either loose over trousers or tucked in if I want a more polished look. In terms of fabric, I always opt for either cotton or linen, as these tend to be the most practical for hot weather. Now, as you might be able to see, I have a little bit of a tan thanks to all the glorious lockdown weather that we had. So I've rolled up my sleeves, A, so that I can show off that tan, and B, so that it makes the shirt appear a little less formal. Okay, summer bags. Now, what I mean by this is bags made from either canvas or straw, something like a basket bag, for example. They are always my go-to every summer season because they instantly give that summer vibe to any outfit, and I mean any outfit. So regardless of if it's a blazer and tailored trousers combo or something more casual, they just work. Lightweight trousers. So it goes without saying that we don't really favor heavy fabrics when it comes to hot weather. So despite my love, or rather obsession, with jeans, I do wear proper trousers more in the summer months. Again, favoring linen and cotton, I stick to my muted, but very versatile color palette of black, navy, and pretty much every shade of beige on the neutral spectrum. I have a mix of tailored styles and more casual, loose and comfortable fitting styles so that I have options to create outfits that will suit my mood and whatever occasion. Long gone are the days that I'd buy shoes purely for the aesthetics. These days, I'm all about the comfort factor, especially on hot, sticky summer days. Now these Chanel's were a little birthday treat to myself and even after only a couple of weeks, they are one of the best wardrobe investments I have ever made. Now granted, they're not everyone's cup of tea, I know, but I love them and they're the most comfortable, supportive sandals I own. I look at footwear as important investments for my feet. They don't always have to be a big, flashy brand or label, so long as they're well-made, comfortable and versatile. Yep, I know, it's become a bit of a running joke that I don't ever wear dresses or skirts. And this is true of any other season bar summer. I'm actually a really big fan of a classic summer dress, especially if it has pockets. I love the simplicity of a minimal dress. It's like having a blank canvas that you can style with your accessories and shoes to make it your own. 
They're also great for those lazy days when you can't decide what to wear. Teamed with the summer bag, some jewelry, and those comfortable sandals, it's an easy outfit with minimal effort required. Now, as you can see, I have quite the penchant for Converse. Now, going back to my point about comfortable footwear, a pair of Converse for me is the perfect summer trainer. Now, I tend to favor the canvas styles because they're lightweight and breathable for summer, but I also love the versatility of them. As with everything in this video, they can be paired with anything from those minimal summer dresses lightweight trousers and the shorts and blazer combo which you all know me for. Okay, let's not beat around the bush here. You all know I'm in over my head in a love affair with blazers. Blazers are, well, they're kind of my thing, and they're essentially what most of my wardrobe is based around. Now I know what you're thinking, blazers have absolutely no place in summer heat, but actually here in the UK, I get a lot of wear out of my linen blazers in summer. I guess it depends what your summers are like wherever you are in the world, but here in the UK, blazers are not redundant in summer. Cooler days like what we're currently experiencing, evenings when the temperature drops a little bit, and any, and I mean any, environment with aircon, that's when I reach for those linen blazers. Regardless of the outfit, they're always my go-to cover-up. Now you guys know that I speak about basics a lot in my videos. They're also a huge part of my wardrobe, just like blazers are. And in summer, my most worn basics are tank tops, vests, singlets, sleeveless t-shirts, whatever you'd like to call them. Now I do favor a racer back cut when it comes to my vests, and I tend to opt for ribbed cotton. Ribbed fabric is often less see-through, so can be worn without a bra on those really hot days when you just need one less layer. And as they're a basic, I just wear them as I would with any other basic, like a t-shirt. I wear them with just about anything. And finally, shorts. Yep, shorts in summer. Groundbreaking, right? It's no secret that I love a pair of vintage 501 cutoffs. Nothing even comes close in my opinion. And this is my sneaky way of integrating that denim into my summer wardrobe. Now, as I mentioned in my last video, I size up when I buy vintage 501s. And this is so that they fit looser and therefore they're more comfortable in hot weather. And if it ain't denim, it's gotta be linen. So I have a few pairs of linen shorts in my wardrobe in different styles and different colors, which can be mixed and matched with pretty much any of the other staples featured in this video. Right, that's all folks. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you all next time. Toodles.